find these days so much more fun to be outside than inside because it's so much cooler. Today I'm going to be making some cowboy candy and that is a canning recipe. Now cowboy candy is, can be made many different ways. I'm going to take some peppers and some vinegar and some sugar and we're going to add it all together. I made some pepper jam. Now it didn't thicken like I wanted it to but it was absolutely amazing and I thought I'll just make it even if it doesn't set, it's perfect for a sauce on meatballs, on meatloaf. This is actually an amazing recipe. I've just come up with this. So it is going to be five cups of sugar and two cups of vinegar. And we're gonna bring it to a boil and I add pectin. And it's just gonna be a syrupy peppers that are beautiful if you wanna make them with a burger, a topping for any kind of meat or chicken. It's actually really, really good. And it all came from me making the pepper jam and it didn't set right. So now I'm on to making this. So while that's boiling away, I'm gonna make my pineapple meatballs. Now, this is a recipe I've made a lot. If you're interested in it, you can go and look up here. So it's breadcrumbs, pineapples, and it's ground beef. And what we realized was the pepper jelly makes a beautiful coating on top of the meatballs. It's actually the most delicious thing I've ever made. Even though it didn't get that thick, it's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the meatballs today. It's my homemade breadcrumbs that has some Parmesan cheese in them too. So it's gonna be perfect. You could form this into a, you could form this into a meatloaf as well. But today I'm making them into meatballs. Wait till you see the pepper jelly that I put on top. It's so good. I'm kind of glad that it didn't get really thick because it's perfect for sauces. It's amazing for on rice or making a Chinese dish. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> you know, sometimes our worst failures are our biggest successes. If you're interested in the jam recipe, that'll be at the end of this video too. All right, I'm almost finished with this, and then we'll get on to canning these peppers. I am gonna water bath these since they have so much sugar and so much vinegar in them, they're okay to water bath. But you never wanna can peppers plain because they're low acid. You have to add acid to them if you wanna water bath them. If you wanna pressure can, you could, but if you wanna water bath, make sure you always add acid to your peppers. All right, I gotta go wash my hands and I'll show you what we do next. All right, so here's the pepper jelly that didn't get thick, but it's perfect for in the meatballs. So you just go ahead and pour it over the top. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bake these and we'll work on the rest of my food.
and there's my cowboy candy all ready to be made into hamburgers and all kinds of wonderful dishes and here is our meal sweet potatoes with pineapple meatballs and pepper jam on top if you're interested in the meatball recipe, I'll share it at the end of this video and in the description box below. This is what my kitchen looks like at the end of the day and after filming. It's not very pretty. All of these jars were jars I made a video on canning and I made a video on processing chicken noodle soup. And all these jars here are going to be washed and cleaned and that's one thing I love about mason jars. You can use them over and over again. But this is my kitchen and this is the end of the day for me. I do my filming first and then I clean up. All right, everyone, I gotta get working. In the magic of the camera, everything will be spotless.
thank you everyone for watching my video. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of my life and a part of my channel. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow.